Welcome back to the Now Morning Show. You heard that music in the background. It definitely is giving away some of our conversation this morning. We have in studio with us Terence Maxim, the Public Relations Officer of the Sangri Grandi Regional Festivals Commission, and Joshua Lamorel, the leader of Kaizoka in Valencia. Good morning and welcome. Good morning. Morning, morning. <laughs> it's so good to have both of you on the show. Thank you for waking up so early to be here. But to be fair, it's something that you're going to have to get used to when you're catching a flight and dealing with that time difference. Of course. But before we get into that, let's start with you this morning. Um, speaking about specifically Terence, the SGRFC and its mission. What is the mission of the SGRFC? Okay, basically we promote our league, promote carnivals and traditional carnival and the regular carnival. Mm -hmm. So at Sandy Grande, we have the, we run the carnival in Sandy Grande. Okay. Okay, so we have all our shows, all our Calypso shows, children's carnival, children's ca Calypso, and also we have senior Calypsos. We have a very successful juve. Mm -hmm. We have carnival Monday, Monday night mass. We also have carnival Tuesday where we have the general parade of bands also. Um, we also take part to a lesser extent in the emancipation in the emancipation celebrations and whatever come about. We generally have, like, for instance, a proper, um, how we would call it, sports and family day. Unfortunately, we, did, we, we didn't have it last year, but we proposed to have it um, this year. We proposed to have it this year, maybe a little later on in the year. But we are shifting gears now and taking, planning to take a team to go to um, the United Kingdom. Right, for their carnival, which comes off at the end of August, and right. then we want to further um, do some training in our traditional mass in September with our with um, and partnering with NCC and their Carnival Institute. Excellent. So let's speak about that shift going to Notting Hill Carnival 2024. Joshua, good morning again. How did we get here? How are we going to Notting Hill Carnival? Well, morning. So basically, we are looking for a lot of Sp sponsors funding mm -hmm. for the group because we have a lot of young kids mm -hmm. taking part, a lot of adults from different communities, not only Valencia, mm -hmm. where I teach also in the Lavantel community. Okay. So it's a, it's a great experience for the young ones mm -hmm. to go out and experience that. It have a lot of opportunities for the young ones to showcase our culture, our talent, right here in Trinidad and Tobago. So the um, young ones, and well, I'm assuming all ages are involved in Kaizo Car, correct? Yes, ma'am. And the younger ones are also supposed to be going to Notting Hill Carnival. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. And so was the invitation extended to you to go, or who did you work with or collaborate with for this to happen? Well, I collaborated with the San Grande Regional Committee. Okay. And were you surprised? Well, I, I wouldn't say surprise because I've been putting in the work. Okay, very good. So it wasn't a surprising thing. Mm -hmm. But I know it was coming. It was like right there. Right. Because every week we are training and the kids come out and excel. They put their best foot forward. And a lot of people been recognizing Kaisoka Valencia for bringing change into different communities. It's about the youth, mm -hmm. it's about empowering young people, creating young leaders. So we're looking for a brighter future with the young ones. I love working with kids. I love dealing with community. I am a community person. Mm -hmm. And I mean, you can definitely see the enthusiasm on your face when you're speaking about it. Um, Terence, what brought the SGRFC to work with Kaizoka? Well, they have been taking part in our carnival, right? Um, they, they, the children's carnival especially, and they would bring out a band. So we thought it best that if it's, if it's anything and we have to go, we will have to go with them, right? right? And we, we engage them, and they have been performing, they have been training and practicing, they have gone out, as he said, in the different underprivileged communities, mm -hmm. right, and get children, and he has been training them. There's a lot of children, they, they, reach, they age in range from maybe eight, seven, eight, nine years, way up to 20, 25 years old. And they do the, um, no, we do, we do the same Moko Jambi. Right. But you know, they refer to it now as still to walk in. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, still to walk in. Yeah, still walk in. Right? But Makes sense. I, we still say Moko Jambi. Moko Jambi. Mm -hmm. That's how we know it. And that's an African tradition. And I think um, some part of the other things, some Eastern communities, right. Eastern Asian communities, mm -hmm. Indian, those places, they, um, they, they do it also. 
So um, we will not only be limited to that because right. we want to vent out a little more. Of course. We want to go with the Dame Lorraine. We want to go with the um, Fancy Sailor. We are also looking at the um, Borokit Mass. All those are our traditional carnivals that we had. The Jab the Jab, jab. The, When we're talking about those that crack the whips. Right. right? That's of an course. art. So somebody needs to teach these people that. So he's here <laughs> and we're going along with that. And then um, we want to spread it a little more. Yeah. So if we take it up to the United Kingdom, we might have a better idea. And they will have more people outside there who knowing, um, who knowing, who, is, who will know what our traditional mass is all about. Okay, excellent. Now, one of the things you would have mentioned, of course, with the group going up is you need that support. Is there a particular amount that we need to have raised for your group to go across? Well, basically, we are looking at $500,000. Okay. That is basically for the whole team and mm -hmm. everything. And, no, continue. To take part in the carnival. So your group is going to be going across taking part in traditional mass, children are going to perform as well and of course continue that community engagement and these cultural conversations. How can we get in touch with Kaizoka if we would like to contribute in some form or fashion? All right, you can could, you could contact the Sandy Granny Committee mm -hmm. and they will take charge of everything. Okay, excellent. So you have your work cut out for you? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. And we are looking for funding. So. Yeah. We still need funding because that's a very expensive that's a very expensive ship because you have to talk about food and accommod accommodation, refreshments on the road, mm -hmm. you know, and um, costuming and all that type of, of thing. Course. So we need to, you know, anybody outside there who feels they could um, send across to their friends in London and let them know we are coming up and mm -hmm. they can maybe provide some assistance of some sort or the other. We don't mind. We'll accept it. Okay. They can get in touch with um, the San Grandi Festivals Committee. Okay, and uh -huh. where can we find the Sangre Grande Festivals Committee? Uh, we do have a web page. You have a web page. What yes. is your website? So, um, well, it's SGF, SGFRC, mm -hmm. and um, I suppose when you type in that, you will get it, or you can contact us through NCC. Okay, excellent. All right, so we yeah. just have a few moments left, but before we do that, um, let's start with you, Joshua, with some closing comments for Trinidad and Tobago when it comes to Kaizo Car in the future. Well, basically... The mission, I really want to take, still to walk into a different level. Okay. Because I, I looking at Moko Jambi as a national character. Okay. Just like the steel pan is. So I want to encourage all the young people to come out and take part. Let we make the change. Let we don't wait for the government to do stuff. Come and let us make the change. As young entrepreneurs, as young people in society, we need to stand and take control. So my mission is to create young leaders in society, and that is what I'm going to do. And you definitely have our support. That is Thank for you very much. sure. Uh, Mr. Maxim, any closing comments? Yes, yeah, so just to let the persons know who have their family in London, let them know that we will be there for nothing in Carnival. Um, the children will be creating both the Sunday and on the Monday. And um, like I said, if they want any focus or to provide any attention for us, we will be up there. And we hope to start that program, I said, in mm -hmm. September, where right. we will partner with NCC to go along to start doing the training outside there with our um, different traditional carnivals. Wonderful. Cost, cost. Really, well, this is great. Thank you so much for joining us. Looking forward to seeing some of the um, clips and feedback from the Road Notting Hill Carnival 2024. And also, of course, with the SGRFC working to maintain and keep alive our traditional mass characters and all that is carnival. Thanks for joining us. And thank and you for having us this morning. Of course, and I'm sure we'll chat again yes. soon. There's some more conversation coming up on the Now Morning Show that you don't want to miss, so stay tuned. We'll be back just after this break. I am not Mr. Ben Woodick, but I'm from Sandy Grandy.